Hey everyone, this is Nitro. So I was requested to show a more efficient method of clearing the first plot battle in the Season of Giving event, which is called Class Skipping Terminator. So let's just get started. And I already showed the storyline in the first video, so I'm pretty much just going to skip that in this one. Just going to jump right into the fight. So here we go. So for this battle, you actually control Keith instead of Shuri. So your your goal is to take down Shuri to down to below 10% or less hit points. And so I'm just going to get started. The thing about this battle is it seems incredibly difficult at first, but there is a very unique method of doing so. And it's a guaranteed method of clearing her. So here we go. Let's just skip all of this chatter. As long as Chris does not apply a mobility buff on Shafinio on the first turn, this works. So what you do initially is move all your characters forward because they need to just move up and get into position for this to be able to attack, of course. So I'm just going to move, shift everyone forward you know, so that they're ready to attack and take on Shuri. And that's it. So, in they come. Shafiniel got an attack buff, which is perfectly fine. Won't affect anything. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull Angelina to me initially. Like so. And then take her down. So I just need to avoid Shafiniel using silence on my party. So one attack from the archer, one attack from Keith, down goes Angelina. And then I'm just going to shift my characters forward like so, and I'll be ready to deal with Chris and Shafinio next. So I'm just healing up Keith to full for next turn. There we go. So now in they start coming. No. Chris applied plus mobility, but it's too late at this point. So what I need to do here is take down these two. And I'm just going to start with... See, if I use aim, I won't have it next turn. So maybe I'd rather just Hi. start things off with Yeah, you know what? It's fine. I'm going to aim up this archer to attack Chris. And then I'm going to have one flyer, strike Shapiniel, second flyer, also strike Shapiniel, and then Keith, kill Chris. And then now, all that's left is Chris, sorry, is Shuri, Grenier, Matthew, and Almeida. So what I want then is I want to, I know Chris prefers to attack healers if possible. So the easiest way of doing, forcing her to attack something is I'm going to place this healer in range, right? So that it gets attacked and then have the Lancer guard. So let's just heal up, like so. To heal up those characters, let's have this Lancer guard the healer. And I think that's pretty much it. So now Shuri moves forward, attacks Lancer, tanks that hit. Gale activated, so my Lancer ends up dying, but whatever. The most important thing here is that Shuri is pulled out of 
the guard range of Grenier. So, you can see, in this case, Gale activated twice. Matthew and Shuri both activated Gale, but the most important thing is the healers survived. That's all I need, because I need to be able to heal up my attackers. So here we go. The first heal removes one of the debuffs, which was important. The attack debuff that was on my flyer general, that needed to be removed. And I'm going to just have the second healer heal up everyone to full. Right. So I'm just going to check to make sure... Okay, so I'm going to have to heal up this aerial guard. Right. So let's just do that. So that it's brought up to full hit points along with everyone else. So with that done, all I need to do now is have all of my full health characters attack Sheree. And it'll be, it'll be over. If you have aim, it becomes even easier, but I don't. So I'm going to start with this Flyer General attacking up here. Next, I'm going to have the Archer General range attack now, Shuri, because that way her attack command can buff up the next two attacks. So that way then the first, the second Flyer will attack Shuri, reducing her hit points further. And since Chris is already dead, Chris does not heal up Shuri at this time. So she is, you can see now, she's down to thir uh, 130k. So I'm going to have Keith use his lightning attack on Shuri at this point. And that knocks her down to 3400 or so hit points. Extra damage from wind pressure. And just like that, she is knocked below 10% hit points. And there we go. No luck required in this strategy, it's just... Uh, actually, I had terrible luck in this case. Both Gales activated. Matthew activated his Gale, and Cherie activated her Gale. But despite that, it was a guaranteed clear on the fourth turn. You know, I kind of wondered about this. Saving face is very much a Chinese concept. I'm kind of surprised it should- well, I guess Long Games is a Chinese company, so that's why that phrase made it into the game, I suppose. Well, I guess saving face is an Asian concept, I should actually say, because it's very common in Japan, Korea, China, you know. I'll probably still skip class. You know, as an educator, Shuri has to be one of the worst students ever. And there we are. So, a very easy method of clearing it. The key point is to be able to keep all your characters healthy. As long as the three flyers, the two griffin knights, Keith, and the archer are all healthy, one attack from all four of them will instantly knock Shuri below 10% hit points. So it's a guaranteed way to clear this battle smoothly. So 
Thanks for watching everyone! I hope you found this video useful. And on that note, Nitro out.